Hi, Clyde, buddy. Yeah, Clyde um, has been running around like crazy, shaking his head. Um, and he, he had an exam at the vet. And they checked everything. And what they found was they took an ear swab, a couple ear swabs, and took it back to the microscope. And he has a bacterial ear infection. So he's going to have enrofloxacin. So if you see your guinea pig shaking his head, it could be ear mites, it could be parasites, it could be um, something stuck in there. Yeah, I see you've got a piece of pine on there. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't like using pine if, you know, if I can use flannel, but I'm way behind in the laundry. So right now I'm using um, pine in a lot of them. So, although I get the right kind, I get killed and dried. Um, Scotty certainly just did a video on flannel versus pine, so. That's right, show us your butt. <laughs> Come here. So, hi, Milo. Yeah. Well, the vet's report. Um, this is what their report looks like. Um, it says uh, it's got the weight, nose and throat, eyes, ears. As you can see, they have to check off a lot of that. It's possible probably that many of your vets do this exact same thing. So, skin lumps normal 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 here's what was not normal um oh, where are the ears he calls it otitis externa so <laughs> obviously external ear infection ears here we go abnormal ear swab moderate waxy debris in both ears bacteria and yeast infection seen i assume bilaterally means under the scope so he's going to get enrofloxacin once. That's a pretty high dose. Every 24 hours for 21 days. So, and clean his ears every day, which I, wow. You know, probably at least once a week long term. So that's, uh, yeah, hi Milo. So now I'll know if somebody's shaking his head and going crazy. You know, it's, it might be an ear infection, right Elsa? She says, I'm stepping on that diagnosis. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you think you're going to get up there, do you? <laughs> well, you're not. <laughs> you're not getting in there, little girl. No, you're not. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so that's what's going on with him. So sometimes guinea pigs do get an ear infection for uh, whatever. I said, how do they get a bacterial ear infection? And he said that yeast can grow too much in some of them so that's how they would get one okay say bye milo clyde won't come out hey bye clyde say i'm gonna get better now okay <laughs>